Rick, right now, Vince, let's go back to you. Craig, thank you. Unlike most other playing fields, golf courses are often considered works of art by those who love the game. Adam Barr had a chance to recently visit with a man who made a career of that interpretation. Here's a look at how golf course beauty moves from concept to canvas. This is an artist at work. Not a brush in sight, but Scottish painter Graham Baxter is beginning his next painting, searching in the early light of a September morning for fresh angles on holes 16, 17, and 18 at Bay Hill in Orlando. Firstly, I tried to find the, the, the optimum angle for me to do a painting. I, obviously, I'm looking here at the back of 16, now looking up 17, trying to find the real character of the course. But, but what I do is I always bring out a set of ladders and I'm actually looking down so I get more of a, a depth of field and the fairway. I can see more in the bunkers. I can see the 17th green in, from this particular angle. This is the beginning of months of work. 200 to 300 photographs with which Baxter will surround himself in his Palm Springs studio, becoming part of the atmosphere he wants to recreate. Recording it in the right light is a crucial function of the artist's eye. First thing in the morning when the sun comes up, you can see the shape and the undulations of the green in the fairway. And uh, the light's always better in the morning and the evening. There's a little bit of orange and red in the light and it gives the colors. If something is predominantly green, it's always nice to get oranges and yellows and because and, uh, you know you get a bit fed up painting green all the time, you know. The eye is more than a tool. It's a blessing, allowing Baxter to absorb the unique texture of a golf course and eventually to help us see what his enhanced vision takes in. The nature that, uh, you know, creating a golf course brings all the wildlife and all the animals into the golf course, it's, it's quite amazing. I, I just uh, like, to, um, I like to be able to try and find the heart of a golf course. I like to be able to find this as the, the area where the real character that shows the whole of the, the golf course uh, architecture and design. After much consideration, he makes his choice, the 18th hole. And by spring, the painting has come to life. The sky and the scoreboard, the flagstick, Spanish moss in the trees, fairway shadows. The new owner, who wanted a memento of the tournament's 30th anniversary, couldn't be more pleased. Just the involvement with Arnold Palmer and, and the excitement of being in the 30-year anniversary uh, event it really drove us to get involved with this painting. All right, Adam, thank you. It wasn't always a work of art for those at Bay Hill on Saturday playing, but a beauty of a storyline. Brandle returns to give us three keys for Sunday and the running competition at Bay Hill known as the shootout. Shillings on the line just to make it fun. Arnold and company go for the greenbacks, and Rich Lerner offers you an inside look. More of that can you.